people. I'm so nervous. <laughs> What? Don't worry, you look marvelous. Oh, thank you. Mm -hmm. You look marvelous too. So, hello, my is Dr. Padu Paga, visiting professor of embarrassology at the Pomona Museum of Art. Welcome to the BESH is the Bureau of Experimental Speech and Holy Theses. We connect Cage with Eastman, or Eastman with Cage, or with Julius, or Julius with John. First through December 16th, we'll be in the project space at the Pomona College Museum of Art. BESH is an experiment in public whose mission is to explore the commingling of speech, authority, and performance in the world around us through fearless creative play. We're converting the Pomona College of Art project space into a free speech auditorium, 12 to 5 p.m. every Tuesday through we have a lectern and an open mic waiting for you. Yes, that's right. Now you too can see, say any goddamn thing that you want in public. P.S. Everything will be streamed live on the Pomona College Museum of Art website. First, for part of our inspiration here at Besht, we look to Toastmasters. Toastmasters was founded in 1924 in Santa Ana as a club that teaches public speaking and leadership skills. Toastmasters is not just toasts. They provide manuals addressing every kind of public speaking format you can think of. How to present board meetings, how to give an informational lecture, etc. Toastmasters is super businessy. There are a lot of handshakes and it's extremely structured. In fact, at each meeting, not everyone speaks, everyone plays a role. And in the end, it's all about leadership skills, baby, and power. Toastmasters reports that there are now 13,500 Toastmasters clubs in countries and over 280,000 members worldwide. Ultimately, is a place of experimentation and it's a place to crash and burn over and over again in front of peers and strangers. Our initial thought was, what if a bunch of artists started a Toastmasters club and learned all the rules and then broke them all? What would an experimental artist-run Toastmasters look like? Would participants get better and better at becoming worse and worse at public speaking? BESHT aims to facilitate this kind of ex experimental platform for both the new and experienced public speaker. It's a place to play with all the tools that all the effective folks around us are already using. It's a place where professional development skills go haywire. It's a place where creative beings can use these tools any goddamn thing that they want. For inspiration, we also look to the composer John Cage. John Cage, whose show is in both of the adjacent galleries, was born in Los Angeles in 1912. He went to Pomona College for two years before escaping dropping out and escaping to Europe. From the beginning, Cage was a marvelous public speaker. As a 15-year-old, Cage won the Southern California contest at the Hollywood Bowl in 1927. The young Cage believed Americans were talking too much and so attempted to use the power of and persuasion of speech render them speechless. 
In his speech, he instructed the USA to shut up and listening to what the rest of the world was trying to say. In his quote, we should be hushed, silent, and we should the opportunity to learn that other people think. Throughout career as a composer, Cage was well known for writing, performing his lectures. He viewed these lectures as a vehicle. He began composing his lectures the same way he composed his pieces, by flipping coins and using the laws of chance. Lectures like 45 minutes for a speaker consist of a collage of previously written lectures and some new material. Plus, includes indications for how fast to read the lines, how loud to speak, and when to cough, laugh, yawn, etc. all derived using chance procedures. Finally, we at best find inspiration in yet another event that transpired toward the end of career, a performance by Julius Eastman in 1975. Eastman was a young, queer, African-American composer, performer. In, Ju in June 1975, in Buffalo, at Buffalo University, State University, State SUNY Buffalo, um, he performed John Cage's Songbooks, a collection of 90 extremely indeterminate solos voice. Eastman allegedly chose to perform a solo also well known as Zero Minutes and Zero Seconds, whose instructions include perform a disciplined action with maximum amplification. Julius's interpretation was to deliver a lecture on a new system of love called the Sideway and Sensitive System. His demonstration, undressing and stroking a man and a woman on stage, his was amplified. The audience laughed nervously as Cage sat, watched nearby. Afterwards, Cage was pissed. Cage delivered a lecture the next day claiming, I regretted that I had composed it, referring to the piece. He, the humans everywhere for their tendency to act like a bunch of alligators instead of people. What is most striking is Cage is known as the father of indeterminacy. He created works with open-ended instructions that when performers would always sound different. In other words, he gave his performers the freedom to make choices. He was also an avid anarchist. Of the many lines in songbooks, a paraphrase of Henry David Thoreau, the best government is no government at all. The audience discovered that there are indeed limits to Cajun freedom if happened to be working with Cage himself. We at Best agree more with Thoreau than we do with Cage. We state, the best composer is the one who governs least. We believe in the death of the composer and in the temporary life of the performer and the score. We wish to honor the temporary life of the who chooses to stand up, script in hand, and speak. We therefore invite you, the public, to come and any goddamn thing you want in our free speech auditorium, whether we like it or not. <laughs> Addition, every best speech should be considered a performance of John Cage's zero minutes and zero seconds. In a situation provided with maximum amplification, perform a disciplined action. We also find inspiration in several other great artist lecturers. We look to playwright Antonin Artaud, whose 1933 scholarly lecture on the plague began as any lecture might, but then slowly turned into Artaud to die of the plague. We also look to artist Andrea Fraser, who in 1989 dressed as a museum tour guide. In addition to visiting various period rooms, her highfalutin tour included hearty approbation for the men's room cafeteria, and uh, water fountains as well. Look to Danielle Adair, a Los Angeles artist who recently re-delivered verbatim the nearly incomprehensible TED Talk that everybody seems to like by <laughs> author of Eat Love. <laughs> we therefore invite you, to the, uh, you, the public, to come and say any, oh wait, is this, a, oh sorry, I'm about to read the same line. Attention, <laughs> attention, Attention all leaders, all speakers. Best will feature several marvelous components. Our free speech auditorium 
is open Tuesday through Sunday, 12 to 5 p.m., featuring a wide open mic. Our cameras are, and our weekly event series will feature some fabulous experimental artists, writers, and performers who will be fiddling with various forms of public address, including guided meditations, an eternal telethon, negative confessions, and even a reinterpretation of Julius Eastman's lecture. Plus, our weekly Diction for Dollars open mic, where you can earn a dollar a minute for speaking, which will occur most Thursdays in November and December before and after our best events. There'll be some more of that after this, before we close up for the night, so stick around. We still have some money left. And finally, the best weekly featuring five full issues of our restless rag brimming with text and nonsense that any leader needs to know, compiled just you. This is a call to all students, all faculty, all staff, all museum visitors, all members of the Claremont community, a call to all artists, actors, writers, and thinkers, to all leaders and speakers, a call to all alligators. We encourage you to come and play. We encourage you to come and deliver. We, best hope to begin where John Cage left off. Julius Eastman picked up all the sublime gifts that indeterminacy gives us, whether awesome or welcome to Besht, where we're just as nervous as you are. <laughs> welcome to Besht, where you can say any goddamn thing that you want. Come on out to the Bureau of Experimental Speech and Holy Theses, fall, November 1st through December 16th at the Pomona College Museum Art. Any further questions can be directed to me, Dr. Padu Paga. Thank you. <laughs> so, 